Penny Ham Chef Tam making delicious udon noodle soup. Well, first I got a pot of water, just lightly boil, almost like a simmer. I got some quail's eggs. I'm gonna give them a quick boil, maybe like two to three minutes. And then we're gonna peel off the shell. And then I have a bowl of ice water. Just set it into the ice water, take it out. I use a spoon, just give the egg a gentle, quick crack like this. So, the membrane of the egg is being cracked a little bit like this. And once you get out from the hot water into the ice cold water, it's easier for you to peel. It's the same theory you can peel the egg like this, you see? Because quail egg is delicate, very gentle to peel. And you can sometimes soak into the water, it's easier, you see that? Once you pick off the memory, it's, they will just come out like this. Sometime, my dad taught me this. You can give them a quick roll, like this. And the first you gotta find the shell with the memory, like this. Once you got the memory out, it will just follow through. If you want to struggle a little bit, just soak into the ice water. See, the ice water will help. Here, I get this Chinese jiu tai, which is the leek. It's almost like a nara green and the garlic chai. It's really good for stir fry or making soup. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable cooking oil. We're just gonna give this garlic chai saute for a few minutes. That will create a very unique flavor. Just for a couple minutes stir fry the jiu tai and then we're gonna add in some ginger and garlic. I'm looking for my vegetable that I can stir fry. This is an oyster mushroom. It smells so good. Here I got some kimchi, baby clam that we had a couple days ago, and some uh, quail egg, some fish cake, and this is just leftover kale. And what you do is you see the stem here? You can just use your finger to peel off the leaf. Kale is actually really good for spiciness, stir fry. They have a bitter taste. But we'll combine all the unique ingredients. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. Smell amazing. All right. Well, so just give them a little bit of sherry cooking wine. Or if you have any kind of cooking wine. Mirror cooking wine. It's fine. Two drops of soy sauce. We just want to give this unique stir fry a really nice flavor. And now we're gonna add in stock. I just add in six cups of just plain water and some dry anchovy. Give the stock a really nice flavor. Or you can add bonito, will be fine. And I have some Korean crushed red pepper. I'm just gonna add it in. Get them a unique flavor. And kimchi. Kimchi go first. We want the star to have like kimchi flavor, garlic, chai, mushroom, ginger, and garlic. So that's our first base. And the rest we can wait. Take about a few minutes to bring out to the simmer. A quick trick that you can use a spoon, just go stir on the above the surface and you can tell how hot the water is. I can start to see the tiny little bubble start coming out from the bottom of the pan. You see here, right here? You see a little bubble? That means the water is getting good temperature hot. 
ready to uh, come up to a simmer first. So at this point, we can add in our baby clam that already cooked, and the egg, and our fish cake, green scallion, and where's my flavor? Tofu. This is a super soft tofu. Be gentle. We don't want to break it. Try not to break it. And we can just add the kale vegetable in. We're just going to let them simmer for like a few minutes to give the soup a really nice flavor. Home cooking is all about utilize any ingredient that you have at home and create the best dishes you can be. So all this ingredient here, we don't require a boiling strong heat to cook, right? So just a low heat, simmer will be good enough. So now we're gonna give them a taste. Look at that, look at the broth. So yummy, I can tell. Wow, I can taste the fish cake, the mushroom, uh, believe it or not, I taste the uh, kimchi, strong flavor on kimchi, which is what we wanted, and everything else, good. You can season now with a pinch of salt. How much salt you're going to put in determine the first time that you taste that. I think this is good enough. How are we going to know it? Easy. Just stir for a couple times. And then we're gonna taste again. Yes, that spot on. That is the flavor that I want. All right, so this is good. Now we're gonna let them simmer for maybe uh, three more minutes. And in the meantime, I have a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna cook some udon noodle. Here's your beautiful bowl of udon noodle soup. Please subscribe and comment. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.